Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. In today's episode of Growing Your Food Security, it's been about 15 days since we planted the squash that you just saw. Here are the tomato plants. We put in three seeds. We're gonna thin those down in probably a week when they're a little bit bigger, but they look good. And then over here, we have the green beans that are doing really well. So first thing we're gonna do is clean up this area. This is what's gonna happen. You're gonna have weeds and stuff come in. I started just dropping down a little bit of green grass. You can use grass clippings as mulch. It becomes a wonderful organic fertilizer over time. You just wanna make sure that if you use grass clippings that you haven't sprayed any chemicals on your lawn or those chemicals that control weeds will kill off your plants. So let me clean this space up. We'll talk a little bit more about the plants that are here. And then we're gonna plant cucumbers down there. So we're extending the bed. Again, a simple earth mound is the cheapest way to go. And then we'll go over kind of inspecting these plants, managing them and uh, giving them a little bit of fertilizer. But this is pretty good progress. The tomato plants that are right here are gonna just take off week to week starting about now because they've established a great root system they're really going to go crazy and look how fast the squash grew i mean it grows really really quickly this will be flowering in about seven days you know maybe two weeks or so you'll start seeing your first fruit on there cleanup maybe took 15 minutes and i haven't really done much to this space except i kept watering the plants regularly you know over this three week period but it looks great Green beans look perfectly fine. We are actually gonna thin out one of the tomato plants. Even though they're small and it looks like we have a lot of space, this cherry tomato, I think this was, was a uh, Matt's Wild Cherry, it's gonna get huge. So we're gonna take out the smaller one and then I'll let these grow for about another week. We also have to remove one of the zucchini plants and I know that's difficult, but we put in two seeds in case one didn't germinate. We wanted to, you know, make sure we were gonna have a plant growing. So three weeks later, they're huge. And I'm just going to reach over, get a pair of scissors. We'll also water these in with a water-soluble fertilizer. You could pull this out, but you want to be careful you don't remove this plant and then just disturb the roots of that plant. And all you do is you get in, it's going to be hard, just cut it off, put it in your compost pile. This plant is going to get massive. You don't want to have two plants showing. You can also see that roots grow out of the stem, so you can just take some soil, just cover up that base, Roots will come out of there, will better support the plant. So we have our green, well, we have our zucchini plant. We have two tomatoes that are going to be left to grow for about a week. We'll keep one. And we're gonna keep all of the bean plants over there. Those are the pole beans. Any water-soluble fertilizer, you can use organic, you can use the chemical types. I recommend organic fertilizer, but if you're on a budget or you can only get the chemical types, I just don't want you to be fearful that it's going to harm the plant or it's going to harm you. That's not true. Overuse and abuse of the chemical fertilizers becomes a problem, but that's not going to happen in your garden. So we just water the base in with the water-soluble fertilizer and just give it a really good soaking. I want to show you how much to use because you don't have to use the whole gallon but you're just doing something like that. And because the tomato plants are kind of small, I'm just gonna give them a quick drink on the side. I don't wanna cover the leaves at this point. They're just too small. And that's it for that. And then for the bean plants, beans actually fix their own nitrogen, but there's nothing wrong with giving them a little boost with some water-soluble fertilizer. And that's all I'm going to do. That's all the feeding you really have to do. So you don't have to go crazy thinking you have to spend a lot of money on fertilizers. This is going to work. So next step, I'm going to go get some grass clippings, cover this up. Oh, one more thing I want to show you. So with your zucchini plant, you're going to get squash bugs and they're going to lay orange eggs on the undersides of your leaves. So every couple of days, you want to look for them. There's none on here. Let me show you what you're looking for. This is another squash plant I have. It's a scalp variety. Look how big it is. That's why we cut one of the plants down. So you're just turning the leaves over. And if you find something like this, those are insect eggs. You want to remove them. You can actually see some are hatching. Just smash them, get them off of the plant. You can cut off a piece of the leaf, throw the squash bugs eggs away. If you don't do that, they're all going to hatch and they're going to look something like this and they will actually feed on the leaves and the fruit and just cause damage. So you really want to make sure you inspect the undersides of the leaves for those orange eggs and remove them. I think this looks great. 
Grass clippings are down about an inch. I will link a video that shows you how to use uh, grass clippings in the video description. Future videos will talk about pan uh, yeah, managing pests and diseases and some ways that you can do that. But everything looks good. I put the grass clippings pretty much around the base of the plants, but not the tomato plants. I just kind of left it open. Sometimes your grass can kind of compost down and heat up and you just don't want it touching small seedlings. But everything looks good. Cleaned out this area. This is a bonus. Look at all the russet potatoes that I got out of that space. That's going to be mashed potatoes tonight. That's pretty cool. So I just loosened up this area. We're going to drop in cucumbers. The three plants that I showed you originally are fast growing. So we're going to get beans quickly. We're going to get cherry tomatoes, believe it or not, really quickly once they get going. And we're going to get the zucchini. They also have a lot of nutrition, a lot of uses. Cucumbers taste great. I love them. They aren't the most nutritious and sometimes they can be a little bit slow growing however in about 45 to 50 days from germination you could be able to get cucumber plants but I ex extended the space by about four feet this is how you set it up you're just going to take if you have it if you don't have it just skip it one handful of any organic granular fertilizer and just scatter it down any granular fertilizer works well as long as it has nitrogen phosphorus and potassium which most of them do, that's fairly balanced. What do I mean by that? Do you want the numbers of the N, P, and K to be like a 3, 4, 2, a 5, 3, 3, or something like that? You just don't want them to be heavily skewed, where maybe you have like 12 nitrogen, 1 phosphorus, 1 potassium, a 12, 1, 1. So just, you know, something that has the numbers represented. Just scratch this in into the top a couple inches. That's good to go. And I'll do the rest, you know, off camera. And then I'm going to take three seeds. One, I put them on the ground. Hold on. Two, this is a bush variety cucumber. They won't get as big. If you have a bush variety that you're planting, you can go ahead and grow three of them. You still want to put in three seeds just in case some of them don't come up, but we're going to just push them in about a half an inch, just like we did the zucchini or squash plants. And that's all you do. Water it in, keep these watered every couple of days you want to make sure your seeds and your seedlings stay moist and the takeoff will be perfectly fine they're going to need more trellising than this but this is just an old tom tomato cage to get them started so about three weeks later we've extended our bed by four feet the beans look wonderful tomatoes are coming up the zucchini looks good we're not spending a lot of money and it's just a simple right now it's probably about 12 feet long a simple earth row for growing vegetables thanks for watching please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com and this series is really geared to getting started check out my channel for all kinds of different videos on all kinds of vegetable gardening you can really find whatever you need there again thanks for watching